Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today is a big video which I'm wanting to talk about. We often are talking about vibration and raising our vibration. Let's stop doing that right now. Let's stop thinking about that because I'm going to tell you why in this video. But before I get into the video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also, please do uh, join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle. On that free Facebook group, I answer questions, there's uh, extra content on there, and there's just ways to connect and build community. So come and join on there if you're looking for some extra help on healing and manifestation. Now, let's talk about uh, this video today, okay? We're always going, change your vibration, change your life. Raise your vibration, change your life. The thing what I don't like about that sentence, right, is it makes the idea of creation and manifestation seem like it's an effortful thing. And actually what we really need to understand is that no effort's required in creation, you know? Well, when I say no effort, you know, intentional effort and uh, flowing and keeping moving is required. <clears throat> but when we're raising our vibration, they're like, listen, man, listen, raise your vibration. You will manifest instantly. It's like <clears throat> it makes us feel like we've got to force something to, you know, we've got to force gratitude, force a feeling of love, forcible, you know, whereas I want to change the script on that. I want you to stop thinking of it as vibration and I want you to start thinking about it as harmonizing. Now, <laughs> Oh, uh, this is really, I love this. So I think this video needs to be seen by so many. When I explain what I mean by harmonize, instead of raising your vibration, you are go you've got to share this for me if you like it and comment down below a uh, singing emoji of some kind, you know? But when we're harmonizing with life, <clears throat> it means that we're finding that wonderful balance. Lao Tzu, one of the great philosophers, talked about Wu Wei, the path of least effort. You know, talked about water never f always finds the most effortless way down the hill. Talked about things like that. So, and when you're in the flow state of things in life, you're in the flow state. You know, you watch a tennis player or a boxer and they just look like they're just so easy and effortless. Boom, they get the win. Boom, they get the point. Because they're in that easy flow state. They're harmonizing with the outcome. They're having fun. It's joyful. When we think about, and I'm going to go deeper into harmonization in a minute, but when we think about raising the vibration, it makes us feel like we have to truly do something to make that happen. When you harmonize with life, actually what you're doing is you're releasing the muck energy. You're, release, you're releasing rather than doing anything. And why that works so much better than raising your vibration is you can't put gratitude on top of fear. You can't put love on top of, of feeling disconnected. Your body will not accept it in that moment. That's why you can't do it. So to harmonize to life means to not run away from these emotions we don't want by trying to put on top of it other emotions. It means that we're comfortable enough to sit and become aware of the emotion that we're having, which we disconnect, that we don't like, and been able to release and let it go, okay? Because what it happens in this world of spirituality, it's been diluted into the idea that we should, ne that we should be terrified of negativity. You know, you are going to have negativity and reactions. You're going to have things happen in your life that feel like they're out of nowhere, the truth is, is how we deal with them there is how we change our vibration. It's how we harmonize to life. When you harmonize to life, you're going to have peace, serenity, um, and divine right action. You're going to make beautiful choices. You're going to manifest things out of nowhere because you're heart in harmony. When you're trying to raise your vibration, you go, I need to raise my vibration to gratitude to get this um, money or get this relationship, it's not, going to, it's not going to work. Especially the clients that I work with who are on a healing journey. It's not going to work if you keep trying to force something. So raising your vibration has an, has an essence of force to it. Whereas harmonizing with life 
has an essence of letting go. And I'll tell you what happens here, right? Think about it like this. The divine presence within you is the ever-flowing river of peace, harmony, love. That's what it is. So to harmonize to that is to become someone who is full of peace, harmony, and love. Now let me describe that. If you are feeling anxious at this moment right now, your energy is going to be out of harmony, out of balance. By being able to become aware of that energy and relaxing and just noticing it, it will eventually release. And, and one day I'll truly really explain this method so fully, you know, but it's, it's so simple in nature. You notice the energy, you breathe and relax into it, right? What happens is that releases. Then from there, you're going to harmonize. To You're going to bring peace and balance to yourself. Now, peace and balance, from there, love and gratitude naturally flourish. So you're never forcing. You're never having to force your vibration to raise. You're actually harmonizing to life and allowing that natural flow of good that wants to come. Then, from that space of harmony, right... Say you get, uh, um, and we're gonna, I'm going to talk about this in another video. Say you get that desire, okay, you know, and you desire something else. Even though you feel so at peace, so harmonized, so balanced, there becomes a divine discontentment, yeah? And that says, I want something else. You will put a gentle little flicker of that idea out there. And because you're so in harmony... And because you've made your main goal to be harmonized to life, then life cannot help but express that to bring harmony to you again because you are so balanced. You see? And that's the true art of creation. You think about the, um, the parable of creation in the Bible where Jesus says, let there be light and there was light. And he says, you know, and it continues on over the seven days. We're going to talk about the number seven in another video soon. But the seven days, right? And on the seventh day he rested. Put it this way. At no point when he said, let there be light, was there any resistance? Because God, the divine, is the true balance of all things. It's the peace and harmony of all things, right? So I'm saying to you, become godlike in that way, that you are just pure harmony then you will literally have the intention of whatever you want and it will be created for you. This is the master key to manifestation. Create balance, harmonize, stop thinking about it as vibration and more about harmony. Because that's actually really interesting. If I rang a, a, you know, a, a note bell, you know, dum, that, that harmony will go through the air and it will start to make something else shake. Hey, no affiliation. <laughs> and it will make it start to vibrate and shake. So that, that note was at a frequency, at a harmony, you know, and it was harmonizing with that one. That's why it makes it shake, because they're at the same harmonization, you see? Anyway, that's, that's my point here. To name it raising your vibration, MIP brings the essence of effort and no effort is required on this. It's more about a release. I hope you liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe and comment down below. See you guys later. Take care.